Are we still rolling right now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What are we doing today? Draft quiz. Yeah, that is. That's it. The draft quiz. Okay. I'm surprised I'll let you back in here after the international quiz. And we've also got Graham here for his quiz debut. You're doing the draft quiz, buddy. Okay. Um, and what are you wearing? <laughs> uh, this, this would be a Halifax Highlanders Doug Glatt jersey. What the oh, f is on your feet? <laughs> These? It's my lucky flame slippers. Those are horrid. <laughs> you get 12 questions, there's 12 rounds. It's a two strike system, which means you answer two questions incorrectly and you are gone. At the bonus round, which is question five, you will have a chance to earn an extra strike. Okay. The bonus round will be a personal round. That means that all the questions are about the teams you like. Goody, you're getting a Flames question. Vinny, you're getting a Blackhawks question. Cam and Robbie, you got Canucks questions. Graham, I pulled a Leafs question out for you even though I really didn't want to. If you get the question wrong, it's still a question. You still lose a strike. All right, the questions are designed to get harder as you go. Let's start this off. Question one. Who was the last first overall pick to win the Calder Trophy? Think back Calder winners, right? Yeah. Calder winners backwards. Last year, Pedersen won it, so it wasn't last year. Matthews. Austin Matthews then. Um. Was it Austin Matthews? Jump. Easy. It was yeah. easy. Yeah. Easy for sure. Breathe. Breathe. <laughs> I'm like, I'm actually Breathe. so scared. <laughs> <laughs> Please. I know, dude. I, I'm back to struggle. All right. You have 30 seconds. Could be McDavid. You're a idiot. Okay, do you give up? Are you getting question one wrong? Is this your first strike already? Okay. Yeah. All right. That's fine. That's strike one. Question two. Who was the last undrafted player to win the Calder Trophy? Oh, jeez. That's easy. Easy money. It's Artemi Panarin. Panarin. Oh, Artemi Panarin. Back on with it. Now comes Kane. Kane led it right around it Panarin. That's an easy one. I have no idea how I'm blanking. <laughs> I told you I'm bombing this one. What the f***, Robbie? <laughs> it's better you guess a name. A player that you know has won the Calder recently. That might not be drafted. Just throw one out. I don't have one. Okay, get the f*** out of here. <laughs> yeah, I know. Whoa, whoa. See that guy right there? Looks like he's hit rock bottom. Question three. Since the lockout, only two players selected first overall had played the previous season outside North America. Name one of those players. Austin Matthews. Isn't it Austin Matthews? Yes, it is. <laughs> Matthews? Yeah. Uh, I'm blanking. This is going to be really sad. Yeah. <laughs> one of them is Rasmus Dali. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. The other one is Austin Matthew. <laughs> right, see you later, buddy. See you later. <laughs> Question four. In the 2012 NHL entry draft, the 16th overall pick was used to select a grit grinder with a scoring touch. At 934 penalty minutes, <laughs> This Stanley Cup champion right winger leads all players from his draft in that category. What is his name? Okay. I'm thinking, okay, Stanley Cup champion, right winger. I'm scared, dude. I already carried it out the wrong. Yeah. Okay, well, I don't know who was drafted 16th overall in 2012. Tom Wilson? Tom Wilson, baby. Not a boy. Rick Grinder with a scoring Shh. touch. Is it Tom Wilson? Yes, he did. Okay, okay. Here's Wilson, and on the right circle, he scores. Is it Tom Wilson? Yeah. <laughs> Here's Sunquist with the puck, and there's the follow through of Wilson. Brandon, you're at the bonus round. No strikes. With no strikes. Cameron, 
You're at the bonus round. Okay. With no strikes. This is the personal round. If you get this right, you're going into the last the last second part of the quiz with two strikes. Okay. If you get this wrong, you're out. <laughs> There's a lot on the line here. Yeah. It's a flames question. What round was Johnny Goudreau drafted in? It's like 112, so I'm gonna go fourth round. Yeah, correct, fourth round. Vinny, since the walkout, Chicago has drafted two first rounders that were playing outside North America the year they were drafted. Name both of them. Teravinen? Yeah, it's one. And now snap that off! He's gone! That was the harder one? Yeah, Teravinen was the harder one. Well, Doc, 20, Doc was 2019. 2018 was a... Uh... Wait, hold on. Bookfest. Yes. Okay, yeah, sorry. Because I was thinking nights with him. Yeah. I was thinking nights with him. Because so he like... went to London after. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cameron, since the walkout, Vancouver has drafted in the top 10 eight times. I want you to name seven of those selections. So, Elias Pettersson, Quinn Hughes, Ole Ulevi, Bo Horvat, Jake Vertanen, Pot Colson, Luke Bourdon. The other one is Cody Hodson. Oh, Cody Hodson. So I have three strikes right yeah. now. Okay. Question six. Who is the highest scoring first overall draft pick? Of all time. Gretzky. No! God, please, no! 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 Lemieux? Yeah. Okay. Mario Lemieux? Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Nice. Here's Lemieux. The center penalty coming up. Look at Lemieux! Question seven. Since the lockout, only three defensemen have been taken first overall. Name all three. Okay, well, Johnson. Ekblad? Yeah. Dolin. Yeah. Rasmus Dolin. Aaron Ekblad. Yeah. And now this is where I'm gonna blank. Dirty Burns Carlson? No, not even one of those is correct. I'm blanking so hard. I know who it is. It's Eric Johnson. <laughs> yes, it is. That a boy. <laughs> it just hit me all the settings. Yeah. And we're going into question eight. The 2015 NHL draft is widely regarded as one of the deepest drafts of all time. Connor McDavid was drafted first overall and is the current point leader. Who in that draft has the second highest number of points? Oh boy. Who was drafted third overall? Dylan Strong. Yeah. Drafted third so it's not Dylan Strong. McKinnon? Nathan McKinnon was drafted first overall in 2013, two years prior. Sorry, Brandon. Decent okay. showing, you made it to question eight. I know Eichel's played every season along with McDavid. So, based off the fact that I know Eichel played his first season, I'm gonna guess Eichel. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, I can Eichel. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you made it to question nine, you have two strikes. Question nine. In between 1971 and 2017, only one player selected with a top five draft pick has never played an NHL game. Name the player. <laughs> I think I'm thinking of one guy right now. This so was between then and 2017, so this could be someone who still hasn't played, but could play? Yeah. Including. So, is this a Canucks question? You don't question nine. I think there's only one I can think of. A top five pick? Beach. No. Levy hasn't played yet. I don't think. To my knowledge, no. But why 1971? You're just trying to throw me off like that? Because I'm like 99% sure it's Oli Levy. I'm going to say Oli Levy. It is Oli Levy. Okay. <laughs> I'm just trying to emphasize that no player in between 71 and 2006 17 has not played drafted top five. But our beautiful Jim Benning's brainchild, Oli Levy, 
fucking hasn't. With the fifth selection, Vancouver select from the London Knights, Ole Ulevi. Question 10. Who is the highest drafted Danish NHLer of all time? Eulers? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know very many Danish players. I'm sure Frederick Anderson is Danish. I'm going to say Frederick, Freddie Anderson. No. Oh, damn. It's Nikolai Eulers. Oh, okay. Question 11. Canada, Sweden, Russia, Finland, and the United States are undeniably the five biggest hockey powerhouses. Since 2010, only two players selected with top three picks were from nations outside the top five. Name both players. So what you're looking for is top three picks, not from Canada, Sweden, Russia, Finland, and the US. I'm seriously blanking on last year's draft. Who's taken second overall last year? Czech Republic's not on there. No, it's not. One of them is Nico Hischier. Because he's Switzerland. Pasternak? No. Pasternak was like a 20s. It's... Okay, I'll take some dignity saying I got Nico Hischier. Who's the other one? Leon Dreisaitl. Ooh, I forgot he was in the top three. Okay, okay. <laughs> but you're out. That sucks. You're out before. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> you're out. Yeah. Look to your left. Look to your right. Look to the center. It's time to f. <laughs> <laughs> the final boss, question 12. In the six NHL entry drafts between 2010 and 2015, the Edmonton Oilers selected first overall four times. Okay. I want you to name all of their first round picks in all of those drafts. Taylor Hall. Yeah. Neil Yakupov. Yeah. Nugent Hopkins, Connor McDavid, Leon Dreisaitl. There's one more that's like, I'm gonna assume it's like so stupid or something, like... Oh, and Jesse Pouliarvi. Mm. Pouliarvi was after that. Pouliarvi was the Oh, shit, right. Oh, you damn. got five? Yeah. There's two more. Darnell Nurse was mm. seventh. And Oscar Clefbaum was taken in the same draft as Taylor Hall in the same first round from a, on a pick they acquired. So it's Clefbaum is the other one. You okay. got five. You made it to the final boss and you got five. That's a good showing. It was not an easy question. So, draft quiz. Robbie. Question two. Who's no out? way. <laughs> no way. Two strikes and he was... Freaking out Like the Austin stage. Matthews and our Panarin. Yeah. Both like, of them he got wrong. That's like three years ago. How do you not even know that? That's like a walk in the freaking... He didn't know them. Either of them. Uh, Graham at least got out in round three. Graham answered the first question correct. And then answered the next two incorrect. Um, Brandon, I believe it was round eight. It's your second win in a row, Cameron. I, two time champion. Come on, catch up, guys. Only like, one geez. to make it to the final boss and... Even though you got it wrong? You know, at this point, like, back-to-back -back wins, I'm starting to question if these guys even watch hockey. <laughs> um, I, I remember saying that they need to keep up, but like, at least at least they performed. Like, at least they showed up to play. Well, at least most of them did. Like, Graham, I'm not surprised he did crappy, because it's Graham. And then <laughs> Robbie, once again, like, get your shit together, man. Like, what is happening? Like, I don't even, I'm genuinely lost for words. Like, question two, you didn't get, he didn't get a single question right. Like, it feels good, <laughs> I guess, to wear this again. It kind of hurts, but it feels good to wear it regardless. And uh, I don't want anyone to take this away from me. Keep it forever. <laughs>